test results and gene sequencing of the SARS-CoV-2 virus from the South African patient being treated at the National Hospital for Tropical Diseases show that he was infected with a new variant of SARS-CoV-2 from South Africa. There are fragmentary positions and mutations. These strains have also been evaluated by experts as being able to spread faster. In terms of virulence, there are a number of studies around the world that shows that patients with UK or South African strains are slightly more clinically serious than older strains. According to experts, there have been no virulence studies on the South African variant of the SARS-CoV-2 virus. Regarding the effectiveness of the COVID-19 vaccine against the new variants, experts say it will take time. Viruses can all change over time. It's similar to influenza. We can also use existing tools to track different SARS-CoV-2 virus strains circulating around the world. As a result, we can determine which strain is suitable for vaccine production. Vaccine manufacturing technology can use different SARS-CoV-2 virus strains. At present, the National Institute of Hygiene and Epidemiology is continuing to sequence the genes of samples from Tiling City and Vendon International Airport to evaluate the possibility of transmission and see if there is any variation. The results are expected to arrive next week.